Fun fact, if you see an H at the end of any New Balance sneaker, it means that it is a conceptual vision of what that sneaker can be if invented for the future, almost like a hypothesis. This 997H is a good example of a retro upper with a modern shape in the midsole outsole design. Stay tuned to find out if I would recommend this shoe for you. This 997H fits true to size. Despite it having a tapered toe box, I did not feel like the shoe was crushing my toes. A pair of these will cost you about $90 USD or $120 Canadian. So let's get right into the good stuff. The 997H is an awesome combination of materials and because of the shape of the panels, it is flexible and breathable. The flat rope lacing was a good touch. It features four different patterns of leather, and I'm not sure if any of it was faux or real, but the patterns are smooth, flat grain, grainy, and suede. Quite a complex combination if you ask me, and I'm not sure where I'm getting the vibe from, but the overall look reminds me of a tennis sneaker as opposed to a modern runner. The brown accents also give it a hint of maturity. Now here are the concerns I have. The midsole cushion technology combines end cap and EVA foam together to create a new combination called GC EVA. But when I wore them, it felt like nothing special. You don't combine a burger and a food processor and still call it a burger. It just isn't the same thing. All I felt in this shoe was a tougher EVA-like material that didn't give me any sensations of a technologically advanced cushion system. No spring-like responsiveness, no cloud cushion absorption, I am just quite disappointed because even with their typical 574, it has a better integration of EVA foam than this. My biggest concern is the toe box suede. Either my pair wasn't stitched well, or they did not test the shape of the panel enough as my pair right out of the box was already ripping at the bends of the ball of my feet. This means over time, it will be the first part of the shoe to go. And I honestly find that type of wear and tear on any sneaker as an instant no for me, as it just shows a lack of testing on a manufacturer's part. Overall, I would not recommend this shoe if you're looking for a decently comfortable sneaker for daily wear, though I would recommend it only if you're looking for a good retro modern style sneaker. Its looks and overall shape is definitely attractive, but the comfort as mentioned is not. Because you watched my video this far in, you must like my content, so hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and let me know in the comments down below if you own a pair or if you're contemplating about one. This has been Billy Visuals, y'all just got visualized, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.